Hello, um, my name is Alexandria Batianza, and today I'll be telling you Anansi and the Pot of Wisdom. So long ago, Anansi the Spider, he was greedy for wisdom. He believed that since he was so clever, so smart, and could outwit everyone, all the creatures on the earth, that it was only right for him to deserve all of the wisdom. So he went to Nyame, the god in the sky, and he told him this. And Nyame said, was thinking, Nyame thought, hmm, this little itsy bitsy spider, he thinks that out of all the creatures on the earth, that he's the smartest, that he's the most wise, and that he should be granted this. So Nyame gave him a proposition. He said, um, Anansi, because you are also deserving of all the wisdom, I'll give you the I'll give you this pot, and in this pot is full, filled with the most all the wisdom of the world. So Anansi was so excited, he was overjoyed that he began to dance, like any spider would. So he was flinging all his eight limbs about, praising Yame, saying, "Thank you, thank you for so much for giving me this gift." And then Yame continued. He said, but you have to do this one thing for me. You have to share this wisdom with all the creatures of the world. Being so overjoyed, Anyanse said, of course, why not? I don't mind. So he took the clay pot and returned to earth. At home, he opened the pot. And in it, he saw the most beautiful things. He saw proverbs that he had never heard before and truths that he never knew existed. So we've heard a lot of Anansi stories before, and we know he's a tr trickster and that he's greedy. So once he saw all this beauty in this pot, he said, no, I won't share this with the world. I'll keep it for myself. So he had an idea. He said that he will find the tallest tree on earth, and he will tie this clay pot to the very top so that no one could reach his wisdom. So he set out on his journey, and eventually he found a tree. And this tree just so happened to be a coconut tree. And he looked at it and realized that even the top of the tree, you couldn't see from the earth. So he tied the coconut, he tied the clay pot to his back and began to scale the tree. Since it's a coconut tree, there isn't any branches. So he had to tightly wrap each of his eight limbs around the tree and gradually raised himself up the tree. Hours had passed, and then there was even a group of preachers at the bottom of the tree cheering him on. They said, go Anansi, you can do it Anansi, you're almost there Anansi. And because of this, it even encouraged him to keep going. Once he got to the top, being the proud spider that he is, he began waving to his audience. He said, thank you. You're far too kind. Yes, me, Anansi the spider, has, could only be the one to make this giant feat. And for each, um, for each comment, he used a different limb. And before he knew it, he had none left. He had completely let go of the tree and started to fall. He fell, and he fell, and he fell, and eventually he hit the ground. And landing next to him was the clay pot of wisdom and it shattered it and shattered into a million pieces and now the wisdom began to fly it flew into people's pockets and backpacks and nestled into ears and hid under infants beds and before you knew it the wisdom was spread everywhere so the moral of the story is we must listen and learn to each other for if we think that we know all the wisdom we'd be missing out on everything that everyone else knows. Thank you.